we've got an update from EG 3D Labs. So for anyone that doesn't know, we have a 3D printing lab uh, where I have been working with 3D printers uh, pretty much since 2016. And since we built our first 3D printer, we bought a kit online, we put it together. And then I was working at a injection molding shop, learned from an old tool maker named Ed. And he was teaching me that, you know, while he's working in the office at home, he has injection molding presses going and every time they open up and drop parts into the bucket below it's money for him right he's got these jobs on the side he's building that that fascinated me being able to be your own manufacturing and, and get your own jobs has always been a thrill and so that's what eg 3d printing is i bought my first printer ran it started making my own parts and then realized i could make parts for other people and so since then we have been making parts for anyone that needs a 3d printing project and there's a whole bunch there's there's so many different reasons that you can use 3d printing for we've helped our friends at snap collar bring their idea for their product into reality we did the first prototypes and helped them figure out what the design and feel and look would be and get confident that a product was ready for them to take the leap into starting a business. Um, but then recently, we've been expanding out because I've worked for many years in the 3D printing industry and I've had a ton of experience working with parts and that's really where my passion is, is getting those parts solved for you, right? There's everyone runs into issues. My my literal the thing I was getting paid for, am getting paid for, was to troubleshoot problems with 3D printing. And so, I am trying to focus on your parts. The the reason that you're the why of you using a 3D printer is your part. And I specialize in that. I was an application engineer, and I worked specifically on helping people bring ideas into reality with 3D printing. And that's what we're doing with the part detective. The part detective is how you can use us to help you crack and solve your 3D printing mystery. We are all about that. Just like a an old PI, like a Dick Tracy or Ace Ventura or Sherlock Holmes, it's it's about solving that and figuring that out. And so you can actually use our services anytime now. We have a schedule on our website, eg3d-printing.com. If you know what you need, if you just need to sit down and, and figure something out, go to the website, sign up uh, for 30 minutes with us. We have times throughout the entire week. Our schedule is always up. You can sign up anytime. And if you're not ready to just jump right in and deep dive into your the, why your 3D print failed or or how you could make this part better quality or there's a, there's a million different ways that you can use us uh, so, and you should check out our YouTube page that we're kicking back off it's at AG 3D printing on YouTube you're going to see our design reviews you're going to see the different projects we're working on like right now we are working on the James Webb Space Telescope model which has been one of the biggest challenging projects we've taken on this year because at the start of the year, we upgraded our 3D printer to be multicolor. We can use up to five different materials or colors at any time. And I was spending my time learning how that works. There are printers for those that know 3D printing that are called Bamboo Lab printers. And these printers came out on the market recently and they have they have done what you want to do with a product to make sure that the customer experience is high quality. They have tuned all of the materials that they use, and that they have, to print extremely well. They've built a lightweight, fast-moving system that extrudes consistently, so you're going to get more consistent parts on a regular basis. And if you stick with the materials that they offer, which are, which is rare, very cost-effective and cheaper than what you would get just off of Amazon, which are already pretty cheap for plastic spools of material, right? So they've really created a great thing, but I, because I love pain and a challenge, <laughs> I want to use my Prusa 3D printer, which is one of the first multicolor 3D printers of its kind, but it's a lot more of an engineering project than, say, the Bamboo Lab. The Bamboo Lab prints things beautifully right at the stop where I have full control, but I've got to tune most of the things uh, because I buy my own filament and I'm, I just love tweaking things. So anyways, 
So this project started off with the idea that I would be able to 3D print this James Webb Space Telescope model in three different colors. And I learned a lot. The nice way to say it is I learned a lot about how the multi-material system on the Prusa works. Uh, we went through a lot of trials and tribulations. I've rebuilt the extruder a few times. I've, I've really learned the dynamics of the filament coming out of the extruder, uh, going back up to the idler where it changes the filament, and then, and then controlling all that so that it doesn't fail every single time. And so now I'm at the point where I want to start challenging some of my friends with Bamboo Lab printers and see if I'm able to get a better print than they are. But... This James Webb Space Telescope has been amazing. We've fine-tuned the model itself to be better for multicolor 3D printing. We've tuned it for the process itself, right, for the, the nozzle filament setup. And the way it's oriented is even specifically done for 3D printing purposes. And not only are we going to be sharing more about that and having videos up about it, but we're also selling the model out of our, out of our Etsy store, ag3d-printing.com. This is definitely one that I'm very, very proud of, and, you know, it truly is something designed fully for 3D printing. Like, if you took the model from NASA, which they have free models of most, uh, most spacecraft, mo uh, just a ton of free 3D models, even of like the surfaces of different planets from satellite data. It's, it's really amazing what they have on there. But like, let's say if you took the Space Launch System model and you put it into your 3D printer slicer for preparing your job, it's not realistic. For It's not made to be successful on 3D printing. It's like a legitimate one-to-one -one model. So it's going to be sheet metal, but scaled super small down, which is way smaller than like a single line of plastic that I can extrude. So it's really not helping you to make it. It's it's a great thing to have in like a an AR environment or maybe to teach a class, but not for 3D printing, where this model is designed specifically for 3D printing. And we're also going to be selling the 3D model as well. So if you want to 3D print it at home, or if you want it yourself, we will have that up. It'll be on our Etsy shop, but it should also be in our replicator, which is our shop online if you're on social media. Uh, and you can hit it up anytime. We've got our 3D printed goods up there, and you can help support the podcast. And yeah, so this James Webb Space Telescope, available now, but really... I want you guys to check out the video we're going to put out for the part detective, opening up the part detective case files, and we're going to talk about all the challenges that we went through and the, the things that we did to make this model work and for it to be as beautiful as it is. And then if you have a multicolor 3D printer, you should get it because you should see if you can beat us in the quality for this part, for this multicolor part. And it's a challenge. It's not easy. But I want to see what you can do. So more to come. But that's the latest from AG3D Labs. As always, you can check out our stuff. Uh, AG3D-Printing.com, at AG3D Printing on Instagram and TikTok, again, for however long that still is there. And our YouTube page is also very active now. So if you're looking to get some more 3D printing content and <laughs> have some laughs too, because we... We love making funny content for 3D printing stuff, so check that out. And if you need a 3D printing problem solved, reach out to the part detective, ag3d part detective at gmail.com. Get the conversation started. Emailing, you can always email us for free, start a conversation. We can see if we can help you. If it's beneficial to set up 30 minutes with us, we will. you can go to our website at ag3d-printing.com and you can book 30 minutes with us right now, 60 bucks, and you'd be surprised how much you're going to get in 30 minutes, never mind uh, free communication with email afterwards and before. So hit us up, 